the idea was to record this fast review on the river, but... It's funny because last year I started my season in the exact same spot and I've tested another very rare and special rod. This time I had Arta with me. The reason I'm recording this at home is because it was pouring rain the whole time we were at the river and I didn't really want to take my camera out more than I needed. This is not a full review because I've only spent half a day with the rod. I fished with it before but even for shorter periods. So this video is more like a first thoughts about the rod. Souls is very known in Japan. They are considered to be the top brand. They are producing to this day. They're making new rods with the new materials. So this is not a vintage rod, even though this one is a little bit older. Now you can get the same rod. I believe it's the same blank. I'm not sure about it, but to my knowledge, it is the same blank with new Torside guides. This one has SIG guides. The rod is slow action and it has nuances. First of all, if you're fishing with spoons mainly, this rod is not for you. It's too slow, you will not work your bait correctly with this rod. You can't lift the spoon out from the bottom very quickly and it's kind of hard to maneuver it. Another thing to consider is when you're hooking the fish, when you fill the bite, you really need to strike it. Because the rod, as I said, is a slow action, it bends a lot, it compensates a lot of that first strike. So you need to put in some muscle in it, because it will compensate that first strike. And in order to set a hook, it has to be really, really hard. Rogosa. Yeah. No, yeah. Echt. <sighs> and as you saw, I learned it in an upset. This was a beginner's mistake. I haven't fished for a longer time and I'm a little bit rusty. So I got the fish very, very close to the shoreline. And there is a drop, there is a lot of grass because it's supposed to be shore there, but the water levels are high. What I thought that I got snagged into the grass and I just lifted my rod, I didn't strike. I just lifted my rod and then I felt the movement. And it's funny because I was about to tell you how these kinds of rods with slow action is very good for holding and fighting with the fish because fish has no chance of escaping because that rod compensates everything the fish does. But 
another thing that I noticed about the rod. This rod is uh, the one you need to adjust the most while casting from all the rods that I tried because it might be the slowest rod of this length that I ever fished with. So when casting your lures with a long casting system that has moving magnets or weights inside, you really need to adjust your cast. It's not like your sea bass rods with fast action where you just strike it fast and that lure flies away. You really need to change that thing. And after a few hours you adjust, you get used to the rod and it casts fine. There is plenty of people who tells you that these kind of rods with slow action, usually they have a boron material in it, is not a good casting rods. And those fellas don't know what they're talking about. Maybe these rods cannot be as good as sea bass fast action rods for those specific baits, but there is plenty of distance that rod can cover and I don't see any problems fishing with it. Sensitivity wise, maybe not as sensitive as fast action rods because those rods has higher percentage of carbon in them and it's just more sensitive. But for the fish we're catching with these kinds of rods, it's sensitive enough I would say. Of course winter, as you saw, fish is lazy, it's very tired after spawning. Usually it doesn't take that bait so aggressively as they do in autumn. But if the fish is attacking your bait somewhere closer to the midstream or mid-river, then you feel it. In my case it happened so close to the shoreline, I was sure that was just some grass or whatever. And another thing, I passed my bait through that spot, different baits through that spot like five, seven times before, so I wasn't really expecting anything to happen. In conclusion, it's a great rod. It's quality all the way from the smallest details to the blank to real seed to everything. You feel quality, you feel it's handmade by some crazy Japanese. And again, this rod will not catch you more fish than a rod which is two times cheaper. But you will get more pleasure using it. It's a thing you buy to have for a long time and enjoy. The main difference between this rod and UFM Laxa that I've tested last year is that Laxa has the same slow bend and very similar action when it's fighting the fish. But Laxa being same action on the load is way faster on the cast and that helps a little bit with the casting distance and also that rod feels a little bit more sensitive. To give you final review I think I will get that rod for a few more times if Arta allows me because it's his rod and I really would like to fight a larger fish with it and see how powerful it is. Because the sea trout I was hooked in, uh, Arta said it was around 70, maybe 75 centimeters because it was just by his feet but I really would like to catch a fish around 1 meter and then to have a better idea how powerful this rod is and how it deals with that fish. So hopefully that will happen on a few next upcoming trips I'll have. If it does, I will let you know and I will make my final review of the rod. And don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Leave me comments as always and I see you next time. Peace.